AI is flooding the ERP space right now, predicting demand, flagging supply chain risks, automating financial close, and even spotting quality issues on the shop floor. It all sounds game changing, but what's hype, what's real, and what's next? In this video, we'll break down what AI and ERPs is doing today, where it's still maturing, and how it could reshape business operations in the years ahead. Before we dive in, a quick thank you to our sponsors. This video is brought to you by several ERP leaders, including our title sponsor, Delmia Works, as well as Epicor, QT9, Genius ERP, and Sweetmaster ERP. What a stellar group of platforms. You can learn more about each of them through the links in the description and stick around to the end for more resources. All right, let's get into it. Before we talk about features, it's worth stating that AI is not magic. It's a mirror and it reflects what you feed it. If your ERP implementation and data are shaky, then your AI results will be bad. Forecasts will be off, cost models will be wrong and supply chain insights won't be trustworthy. So before chasing AI, audit your ERP hygiene standardize data fields, enforce validation rules, and make regular cleanup part of your workflows. So with that out of the way, what is AI already doing well in ERPs? Here's where AI is already delivering measurable ROI today. Predictive demand forecasting. Using historical sales and external signals, AI models can predict demand more accurately than manual spreadsheets in a lot of cases. Supply chain distribution alerts. Many AI tools are able to flag supplier delays, port congestion, or transport bottlenecks before they even hit your operations. Smart financial close. Automated reconciliations, anomaly detection in transactions, and error flagging in journal entries can save accounting teams a lot of time today with the right setup. Shop floor quality monitoring. Computer vision and sensor-driven AI flag defects in real time, reducing scrap and warranty costs. Personalized dashboards. AI co-pilots surface the KPIs most relevant to a role. So a plant manager, for example, sees downtime alerts, while a CFO sees cash flow risks. These aren't gimmicks. They're proven capabilities in many ERPs today, and when implemented well, they directly improve efficiency, accuracy, and agility. Before we move on, a quick shout out to our title sponsor, Delmia Works. If you're a repetitive or batch process manufacturer, whether you're make to stock or make to order, Delmia Works is designed with you in mind. They're an end-to-end -end ERP built specifically for SMBs and mid-market manufacturers who need help managing repetitive operations on the shop floor and full operational visibility without bolting together a dozen different systems. And here's the kicker. Delmia Works believes in choice. You can deploy on-premise or in the cloud, choose perpetual or subscription licensing, and work with either their direct teams or a robust partner network across North America and worldwide. Thanks to Delmia Works for supporting this series. Check them out through the link in the description to see if it's the right fit for your business. Now, back to the tactics. Where is AI in ERPs still maturing? AI has made huge strides, but like any new capability, some areas are still maturing. Here are a few examples where innovation is actively ongoing. Long-term forecasting. AI is pretty good at projecting the next few weeks with strong accuracy, but long range forecasts are still vulnerable to black swan events and sudden demand shocks. Conversational ERP assistance. Chat style co-pilots are improving, but most still struggle with complex multi-department questions like what's our margin forecast if raw material X increases by 15% next quarter. Scenario planning. Some AI-driven planning tools simulate multiple what-if scenarios, but many lack the depth to capture real-world constraints across finance, ops, and supply chain simultaneously. Cross-functional insights. Pre-trained AI models are great at single domain tasks like finance or HR, but less so at connecting the dots across modules. Expect more fine tuning by industry and business model in the next few years. Autonomous procurement and vendor negotiation. Early AI tools can recommend suppliers or suggest contract terms, but fully automated negotiations are still experimental and risky. Augment, don't automate. The biggest lesson? AI and ERP should augment humans right now, not replace them. 
For example, when a production run finishes, AI can flag anomalies in the output, recommend preventative maintenance schedules, and generate a cost variance report. But the final call, whether to rerun, escalate, or approve, still belongs to human managers. The winning strategy is using AI to reduce noise and highlight priorities so teams can focus on high value decisions. If you want to ride the ERP AI wave instead of getting blindsided, here's what to do today. Clean your ERP data. Accuracy first, AI second. Audit workflows. Find manual pain points and bottlenecks. Those are AI's sweet spot. Start with one to two AI pilots, like predictive maintenance or financial anomaly detection. Set up feedback loops. Track which AI outputs are useful versus noise. Educate teams. Frame AI as a partner that saves time, not a replacement. Start small, build trust, and scale up once your people see the value. There you have it, AI and ERPs and what the future holds. One more big thank you to the sponsors who made this series possible, including our title sponsor, Delmia Work, as well as Epicor, QT9, Genius ERP, and Sweetmaster ERP. Each of these brings unique value depending on your industry and use case, and we've included links in the description. That's it, that's all. See you next time. Cheers.